So guys, I am back with another Diablo 4 video and my fellow necromancers out there working on those corpse explosion builds, I have found a unique item you need. This changes the game. This absolutely changes the game. You need this. Stay tuned. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so anybody who plays Necromancer, anybody who's worked on or played with Corpse Explosion before, you know that it's actually got a lot of potential. Before they nerfed it on PC, it was disgustingly overpowered because you just spam that button. Uh, but now it's still, it's still quite good, I'm not going to lie. Now, I use Corpse Explosion, I use the uh, Enhanced Corpse Explosion, and I use the Blighted Corpse Explosion, that darkness skill. Yes, we do. Now, I've used it for quite a while. Now, I got to a level... 70 um started to struggle a bit on world tier 4 uh, i've dropped down to world tier 3 now i'm just doing a few of my nightmare dungeons uh but we just had a how tide event and during the how tide event i was taking part in it just a normal event just to get those cinders and i had this item drop some of you've probably seen this already i personally i haven't looked up any uniques i wanted surprises left for me in the full game how from below ancestral unique gloves check these out people instead of detonating immediately corpse explosion summons a volatile skeleton that charges at a random enemy and explodes corpse explosions damage is increased by 36 percent and i'm probably certain that goes higher too guys it's unreal you actually with every cop you spawn a homing missile i mean you'll see gameplay in the background now this changes the game for me. I mean, I actually had to put these on instead of my gauntlets. My gauntlets are perfect. My build is a work in progress, by the way. But I am using Corpse Explosion a lot within it. And it does do a lot of damage and stacking damage, this, that, and the other. As soon as I can implement these into that build with said aspects I had on my previous set of gauntlets, with a few other aspects I need to add as well, and a few other power gun nodes I'm still working towards, it's going to get unbelievable. It's going to get seriously ridiculous. But these guys, these actually change the game and the way you will play, even when using Corpse Explosion as your main, which I know some people do. I definitely do. The reason being is, when you use Corpse Explosion, you're basically stuck in a certain vicinity. I mean, obviously, we slay enemies quickly that are grouped up together, and you're just left with a pile of corpses. These guys, if you've got a pile of corpses at your feet, don't matter how many, 20, 30, every single one of them is going to become a homing missile. So if you've got an enemy afar, if you've got an enemy at a distance, if you've got a boss that's running around in circles and is avoiding your corpses, not standing on your corpses, you're trying to entice him towards your corpse, or you're spawning corpses at his feet and then he moves out the way, dodge. trust me, I feel your pain, I know the feeling. This changes the game. These change the game because they it summons a homing minion that just runs and explodes. It will chase enemies down. If they change direction, this changes direction with them. It's utterly unbelievable. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I mean, the further up the ranks I've got with my Necromancer, I've started to feel like it's just getting a little bit, a little bit soft. I'm seeing sorcerers. I'm seeing druids. I'm seeing all kinds of things. And the amount of damage they can put down is on a different level. I don't think Necromancers can do that the way they can. But we can do things like this. And that's why I believe... we are. I, honestly, I believe the, the Necromancer in regards to the, ha the builds in the game. I feel it's kind of the standout class. Not because it's the best. I don't think it's the best. It definitely isn't capable of the most DPS. But doing, being able to do things like this just make it so unique. And I'm not going to lie, I was slightly getting bored. I mean, I was chasing levels, chasing armor, just chasing better armor um, with what I've got. And these dropped. I didn't know they were in the game. And I thought, no way. They're, no way they're actually that good. No way they do what they do. But they do. In fact, they're better because every everything else uh, in regards to summoning corpses, like i got Blood Mist on now. Well, let me have a look at the... Uh, where's that the aspect I've got on? There you go, Blood Mist triggers corpse explosion on surrounding corpses. When corp Blood Mist detonates a corpse, it's cooldown is reduced. Okay, so then we have on our actual skill tree, uh, Blood Mist is right here, and then we go right there. 
Blood needs to leave behind a corpse every one second. You're in this for a couple seconds, three seconds maybe. So you summon. For me, I'm also I'm summoning three corpses, but every corpse I go by while I'm in this also explodes and chases enemies down. It chases enemies down, people. It's absolutely ridiculous. I've actually I, you'll see it on screen now. I tried and tested this. I had a pile of corpses at my feet. And you can just stand there all day spamming them out. I was doing a Legion event earlier, and I mean the amount of corpses, every single corpse generated by every single enemy is for you now a homing missile that does so and so percentage of an extra damage. It's absolutely scandalous people, it really is. And these are perfect for many many corpse explosion builds out there. Now my build is based a lot around corpse explosion but I've got many many other skills which buff damage for that corpse explosion. Things like blight, things like blood mist, things like all sorts guys, I've got absolutely all sorts. Now my build is far from finished, I may bring a guide on it one day. But hey, I'm pretty sure there's people out there that have got the similar builds to mine either way. But yes, if you are a necromancer, if Corpse Explosion is a part of your build, this is a absolute must get, guys. And there's probably other uniques in this game which pair with this perfectly. Don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me, people. I want to find them for myself. That's the joy of playing Diablo 4. But yeah, guys. You need these in your life if you're a necromancer and that corpse explosion is your main the howl from below unique gloves these are absolutely beautiful guys if you enjoyed the video leave a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one